So this, this, uh, this video is a little bit backwards. Um, we're, we've already built the walls. They're stacked up outside. You'll see, this, see those in a minute, but I just want to talk about this. During building the walls, uh, I found it was getting harder and harder to lift with this, this wrist. They're two by six walls and they're 12 foot long, 12 foot high walls. So they're, they're kind of bulky and heavy and I was just struggling to the point where I couldn't lift with the wrist. I had to lock in under my elbows to pick it up. So I went down to the walk-in clinic and they looked it over. They ruled out carpal tunnel, um, possible bone spur. They don't know what, nothing, it appears to be broken. It just hurts like crazy to, to try to lift with it. So I'm, they had me go get x-rays at the hospital did that, and now I'm waiting to hear from the doctor to see what it is. But they said for now, we we'll just wear this. So fortunately, these walls were the last heavy lifting I need to do for quite some while, so I'll be just resting it. So I hope you enjoy the rest of this video of building walls here in the shop. And uh, we, we had a good day. It was just, this was the only drawback to it. All right. Hope you enjoy it. Okay, let's check out this pile of walls. There were 16 sections of walls. <laughs> that is a lot of wall sections. 16 of them, some of them are, they're all, uh, the sections are eight feet wide, but the, the wall height is going to be 12 feet. Two by six, all studs are 16 on center. There'll be one window, one man door, and two garage doors, overhead doors going into this. The ones with the overhead doors, we didn't, did not build those sections because they, then we'd have an 11 foot by 12 foot high uh, wall, which is too, too much for the trailer to transport over the road. We made them eight foot sections so they'll, they'll fit on here <clears throat> on top of the rails. You can see we took, I took the fenders off yesterday. Uh, have new fenders coming. That'll be a, a winter project. We'll back the trailer in here. I actually have room in here. <laughs> You saw that we brought the trailer load of lumber back to the shop. We're, we've been working on getting the garage, uh, all the parts cut, components, and getting ready to nail wall sections together here. And then we'll, we'll put them outside, stack them up, and uh, cover them in preparation for next spring, the first, first garage of the season. It'll be a um, 28 feet deep, 32 feet wide ranch style garage. Trusses are already on site. Uh, it'll have a 512, 512 roof pitch, a one foot overhang all the way around. All the wall plates are cut. Top and bottom plates. Chad's cutting the studs. It's a 12 foot wall, going to be. Chad's going to make the window and door openings ahead of time so that we can insert them into the walls.
we're going to build these sections uh, eight foot wide or eight foot walls, 12 feet high. We have to do that so that we can transport over the road and be legal. So there'll be multiple sections, which is, which works out great. I had one, so one other thing, we, um, the trailer is in a little bit of rough condition. <laughs> you can see the fender pretty well rusted out. It hobbled through this year. That's why they have bungee cords to, to hold everything together. You can see it's pretty, pretty tender. My trailer doesn't know yet. It's pretty excited, or will be excited. Diamond plate fenders are coming. We'll put those on. The one thing I have to figure out is how to remove this the rest of the way. It's already started pretty well. So I'm going to work on that while Chad's cutting studs. If I was a metal worker, which I'm not, I probably would take the torches somehow. I don't know anything about them, about torches and cut it somehow. But obviously, being a carpenter, we're talking sawzall somewhere. We're going to cut and whack till we get it off both sides. These fenders have been repaired once. I bolted them on here so I'll remove the bolts the uh, the back panel here is good and solid so I'm just going to pull those bolts off and go at it oh, oh. Oh. this is the Binford Milwaukee orbital super sawzall I'll tell you what this thing cut really well all right, first thing, nuts and bolts. I won't bore you with that. I got a new tool the other day, a cordless bandsaw. It works, we've used it in a few applications that work really great. I don't, I don't see yet how this is going to fit in here. It, it'll cut. If it would go all the way through, that would be great, but it doesn't. Look at that. What a nice cut. I'm going to save this just in case. <laughs> Let's see how rusted this is. Oh, not bad at all. Probably reuse this. Those two came off quite easily. So obviously the back, the back is free. It's the front that's going to be a problem. So that was pretty much a hack job, but we got it off. So the new fenders are due within a week or so. I'll get the other side and then we'll put on the new ones in a week. Who knows? There may be maybe snow.
This is going to be a fun garage to build in the spring. First one of the year. Woohoo! That's the window one. This is the wall section with a window. There'll be one window and one man door and two uh, 10 foot by 8 foot garage doors. Uh-oh, I lost to Milwaukee. In the background, you can see the garage we built earlier this year. I gotta pound that in. <coughs> I don't have a hammer yet. <coughs> this wrist won't lift anything hardly. This is a heavier one. Hey Chad, I think this one is was supposed to be flush. I marked it incorrectly.
There will be about 16 wall sections for this. Oh, that's, that's more manageable. You're welcome. Was that bowl in a china shop? Something like that. When we nail lumber, I always go with a, I call it a six inch rule. Stay a minimum of six inches away from where you're nailing because you can do it like this. And yeah, I had told somebody once it was working for me, make sure you stay six inches away. He's like, no, 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 I'm good, I'm good. And so I turn around, I'm going to do something, all of a sudden, bang. Off, off to the ER. Just takes a second. Counting wall four. To do wall four. Oh, to do wall four. Okay. So this pretty much wraps up this video. I'll let you know how the wrist comes out. We'll have some other videos coming out soon. I'm trying to do three a week, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. If you want to check them off and watch them each time, I'd appreciate it. Hey, if you're not a subscriber, I'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe. Uh, hit the like button, make a comment, and uh, we, I, I just really enjoy the input interaction. Thanks. See you later.